how to fix Fortnite application hang detected. So if you're facing this issue in a Fortnite, here is a video where I'll show you some simple steps in to fix this problem. First and foremost, what you have to do is you have to go to your search bar over here and type in run. And in run, you have to type this particular command, which is percentage app data percentage click OK. Go to app data, go to local and find Epic Games Launcher. Go to saved and click on web cache. All these are cache files which are not required by Epic Games Launcher. Select everything and just permanently delete them. Once they are deleted, you have to reopen your Epic Games Launcher because everything will turn completely white. So you have to restart your Epic Games Launcher, open it up, then you try to launch your game, see if that helps. Next step, what you have to do is you have to go to your Fortnite directory where your Fortnite game is installed. Go to Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and then you have to choose Fortnite client Win64 shipping, which is the highest amount of size. Right click, go to properties, compatibility, make sure disable full screen optimization is unticked, and run this program as administrator is ticked. Once you have chosen that, simply click on apply, click OK. After that, restart a PC, start the game, see if you're facing the problem. Next step, in the search bar, Type in run one more time. Type the same command which is percentage app data percentage. Click OK. Go to app data. Go to local. And this time you have to find Fortnite game. Saved. Config. Windows client. Game user settings. Over here right click. Go to properties. Make sure read only is not tick. Click apply. Click OK. Double click and open it. And here we have to find a couple of settings. So firstly I'm going to hold control and F. And type full screen. So you're going to see all the settings which contain the word full screen. So we have to find the very first one which is full screen mode 0. Make sure you change this to 1. So make sure full screen mode is 1 over here. After that, we're going to scroll down. You will see B show grass. Make sure this particular setting is false. Make sure B show grass is false. After that, you have to scroll down and you're going to find something called a scalability groups. In here, the very first setting which is resolution quality. By default, this will be on 100. Make sure it is a little bit less than what you have put. You can even put it inside the Fortnite setting as well, but I recommend you doing it over here. I have put on 98.9. .9. You can choose any value. A little bit less than 100, probably 99, 98 or 97. It will not affect the quality of the game, but it will solve your problem. So make sure you've chosen this. After that, go to file and click on save. Once the file has saved, right click, properties, choose read only, click apply, click OK. Once this is done, you have to come one step back and come back to the saved folder. Here you're going to find a file which is, which is the upipeline cache file, which is this one. So this is basically a cache file which sometimes may get corrupted. Select it and just simply permanently delete it. Once deleted, restart a PC, start the game, see if that helps. Next step, what you have to do is you have to open your Epic Games Launcher and from here, go to Settings, go to Fortnite, choose Additional Command Line Arguments and make sure you choose this particular command, which has four commands combined, which, which is Limit Client Text Slash No Splash Slash Use All Available Cores Slash LAN Play. Make sure these four commands are put in this way. Once you have put it, restart Epic Games Launcher, then you launch a game. See if that helps. Next step in the Epic Games Launcher, which you can try is, you can go to your library over here, wherever your games are installed. Click on these three dots of Fortnite over here. Go to Options. Make sure that High Resolution Textures and Pre-Download Streamed Assets, both of them are untick. This is extremely important because of these two settings, majority of the players face issues. So make sure High Resolution Textures and Pre-Download Stream Asset. Even if your PC is capable of running these games in High Resolution Textures, make sure you untick them. Once you have untick, choose Apply and then you run a game, see if that helps. Next step that you have to try is, in the search bar, you have to type in Game Mode Settings. Make sure your Game Mode Setting is on, but additionally you have to do is to go to Graphic Settings and click on Browse and choose the Fortnite Windows 64 shipping, which is the highest size over here. Once it is chosen, go to Options and make sure High Performance is chosen and click on Saved. I've already added, so High Performance on Fortnite, so this is the game over here, which has been added. Make sure this is added over here, once it is done, then you start a game, see if that helps. Next step, what you have to do is, now these kind of issues mostly happen due to your graphic driver, which has been not been updated or probably been corrupted. If you're having an AMD graphic card or an NVIDIA graphic card, make sure you have the latest version of your graphic card. Or if not, you can just roll back to your previous version. If let's say you're not having issues with any other game and only Fortnite, then I would suggest you to roll back to the previous driver, which was released. There are so many uninstallers or driver uninstallers available in the market. You can just download any free one and just, and just remove the current driver and then go back to their website and you will find all the drivers which are present. Just download the previous one which was released, install it and then you try your game. I'm pretty sure it's going to fix your problem. Next step, what you can try is, you have to go to your PC, 
Now my Fortnite game is installed in the D drive over here. What I would suggest to you is, wherever your Fortnite game is installed, let's suppose I assume that it's on D drive for example. So if let's say the Fortnite is installed in D drive, I would recommend to copy the game from this drive and just and push it into some other drive. Let's say over here it will be on F. So you take from D and you put it on F. What I'm trying to say is that you can shift your game to some other partition of the drive and in that case when you have copied the game to a different partition of the drive after that you just open your epic games launcher simply verify the game it will automatically search the file and then get verified once it is done you launch your game then you try it see if that helps next step what you can do is now there are a couple of motherboards which already have inbuilt gpus and we don't want those gpus to run the game and because of that if it doesn't meet the directx requirement it will not be able to launch the game so sometimes it happens due to some reason even if you have a good graphic card let's say you have a 3060 or for example it sometimes shift between those two graphic cards like probably the game is trying to run the game on the gpu which is on your motherboard and not your actual gpu so what you have to do is in the search bar you have to type in device manager now when device manager opens you have to go to display adapters over here now if you see i have only one gpu over here which is nvidia rtx 3080 the reason being is that the gpu which comes with the motherboard i have disabled it so probably when you will open this display adapters you're going to see two gpus which is one which you're using and one which you have already been inbuilt in your motherboard so simply what you have to do the inbuilt one you have to right click and just simply disable this device as simple as that once you disable that device restart your pc once then you run your game see if that helps last but not the least what you can try is in the game when you go over there when you go to the settings and go to the display settings you're going to find full screen widowed mode and you're going to see borderless among which you have to make sure that you're choosing the full screen if you're having borderless or widowed mode you're going to face these kind of problems make sure you switch to full screen mode and click apply restart fortnite once and then you try your game i'm pretty sure your problem is going to be fixed so that was a video quite plain and simple hope it helps if it did please don't forget to like button consider subscribing and the bell icon i'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching Bye bye